Here we are at the final level of the main campaign, Argent Denur. Let's do this. It is time to shut down the well. So here we are, back in hell once more. And that is quite a sight to behold. So yep, this is the final level of the game, and therefore, we got our final set of challenges. We have Hold Still, Kill Two Barons of Hell with One Shot, Uncharted Territory, Find All Three Skull Switch Secrets, and Big Redacted Gun, Kill 25 Demons with the BFG. And we have five secrets, none of which have any of the collectible that are usually listed down here because we pretty much found everything, but we still have the last two remaining collectibles and we will get them both in this level. And they're also the master challenges and I'll go ahead and purchase the remaining weapon upgrades for the pistol, uh, mastery challenge, get 15 headshot kills with the charged energy shot, and the reward for that, it increases the maximum power of the charged energy shot, resulting in a higher damage potential. And I don't think I'll be able to finish up these uh, remaining challenges. Um, I could get the one for the precision bolt. I managed to kill five hell knights with this mod and get the mastery challenge done there. And I just need to get two more uh, multi-kill with the heat blast. So, with that said and done, let's go ahead and prepare for battle for the final time in this LP. So, I think what I'm going to do first is I'm going to try to work on the uh, Heat Blast Challenge, trying to get... Uh, the multiple kills that I need to do the challenge. Let's go ahead and stun this Kaku Demon. And, ah, I didn't want to kill him. That's okay. I'll kill you two instead. There we go. And let's see here. Um, you know what? Let me build up a heat blast. There we go. I see an imp right here. Can I get a, not a summoner. Well, the summoner could summon some imps for me. That would be nice. What isn't nice are those barons trying to pulverize me. As we know it, come to think of it. Hold on a second. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Where are the hell knights? I just lost them. Okay, there's the hell knights coming. Oh, got the wrong mod. Okay, hold on. That didn't work. Okay, let me uh, chainsaw somebody. Let me chainsaw the... Uh, yeah, the pinky will do. Yeah, I'm like so uh, intent on getting the challenge done for the heat blast. Okay. I'll leave the Hell Knight B. I see an imp right there, and I see another one going over this way, and he got killed by the Cyber Mancabeth. You bastard. How dare you! I'll just smack that Revenant out of frustration. Okay, there's the summoner. Uh, let's take care of the summoner here. There we go. Okay, that was not a headshot for some reason. Hold on, hold on. There we go. One down, four more to go. Can I have a couple of imps, please? I don't see any imps. Okay, there's one. Well, let me take care of the, uh, Mancubi. Um, okay! Okay, there's one imp, and... I know what the hell with it. Too many baddies around here. They're just gonna ruin everything. And that's the summoner right there. Get out of here! Okay, sure! Jump right through the Mancubus! Makes perfect sense! Yep. Where are ya? There you are! Haha! <laughs> That's okay, I got plenty of opportunity to work on the, uh... 
the heat blast challenge. Just gotta get one more kill. I just gotta get multiple kills with the heat blast one more time. And I got a weapon upgrade point, but I don't need it because I pretty much purchased all the weapon upgrades. And now, actually, you know what? I think these guys might be worthy volunteers to help me out with the heat blast challenge. Yeah, I would like both of you to come together and... BINGO! Heat, heated core completed, and now I charge up the heat blast without having to fire my gun or spend any ammo. Ding! There we go, just like that. Alright, now, let's go ahead and press the switch. To, know, uh, to open up the first of the uh, Skull Switch secrets. Which is back up this way. And we got some BFG ammo and chainsaw fuel. And speaking of BFG... I'll go ahead and use it right here because why the hell not? Get some more kills with the BFG for the Big Redacted Gun Challenge. Also smack you to get my ammo back up. There we go. And um Yeah, now all I got left is to focus on the uh Wait, what am I doing? Hey! How dare you! Quite head. Oh, that's a hell knight! Out of the way, Caco! Woo! Okay. Beautiful. Hey, you have no arms. <laughs> now stand aside, worthy adversary. It is but a scratch. A scratch? Your arms off. No, it isn't. Well, what that? I've had worse. <laughs> ah, I fucking love that scene. Monty Python and the Holy Grail for the win. Uh, let's see, where do I go next? Ah, this way. And let's go up this way for the auto map. And let's see, I got the first secret down, four remaining. I know where the remaining uh, Skull Twitch secrets are. And there's also a secret that featured one of the collectibles. Yep, yellow! Don't even think about it. Whoa, hi, Kako! <laughs> Alrighty. Oh, look at spawn right there. Another Kako! And he just crumpled to pieces. Nice shot. You hit the rock instead of me, like you're supposed to. And for that, you get blasted to smithereens. Alright, so, what can I talk about while I blow up those imps that happen to spawn right next to an explosive barrel, like the dumbasses they are? Well, um, first and foremost, I just want to say thank you guys so much for attending my birthday stream on Twitch. It was a lot of fun. It really meant a lot to me with the new followers and uh, those of you who played along with me in Jackbox and Cards Against Humanity. It was uh, a great way to celebrate my birthday during uh, the time of the lockdown. And speaking of birthday, um, guess who else celebrated their birthday on uh, my birthday? Gary Oldman. Yeah, I did not know about this until my... Oh, wait, that's the Hell Knight. Ah, damn it. I hit his shoulder. That's okay, there are plenty of Hell Knights in this level. Anyway. Yeah, I did not know this until uh, my mom sent me a text saying that uh, Gary Oldman's birthday is the same as my birthday. And also celebrating uh, uh, the birthday on March 21st, Serious Sam. Yep. On my birthday in uh, 2001, Serious Sam the First Encounter first came out. And that was on my 8th birthday. 
Serious Sam, the first encounter, uh, the classic version came out. Yeah, that really puts a smile on my face. Sharing the same birthday as Serious Sam, pretty much. Uh, ow. Wow. Wow. Okay. Get the rat. Quit. Quit bashing my face in, you asshat. You guys owe me some armor. And you are being an, a real pain in the ass. So yeah, given that my uh, birthday is the same as uh, Sam Stone and Gary Oldman, basically I share the same birthday as Sirius Sam and Sirius Black. Yep, Gary Oldman played Sirius Black in the Harry Potter movies, for those who didn't know. And by those who didn't know, I'm talking to the two of you that don't know that. Uh, hey. You do not smack me, I smack you. Hi! Uh, oh, wow. Wow, he actually charged where, where I was going rather than where I was standing. That's one smart pinky. Oh, L night. Uh, ah, and I fell. Oh, and there's another one. I missed. Nice! You know what? I'm gonna grab the quad damage, because why not? I have some fun with a pistol. Because I may not get this opportunity again. Playing with a pistol while under the effect of a quad damage. Where'd that last damn? Oh! There you are! Yeah, I'm not gonna bother with the mastery challenge for the pistol because I don't really care about the pistol. Alrighty. Now, step on up here, grab some goodies, and let's head over here and start using the crucible to shut down the well. And that guy was pointing over there to where I need to go to next. But I'm actually going to take a little detour with that skull switch right there, opening up the next secret. Which is over this way. So yeah, that's one part of the well down, two more to go. And also, it is time to open up the last classic Doom map. And I just saw it on the right of the screen, briefly. So, one more time! And there it is right there. And this is E3M3 Pandemonium. And I remember Wikidu saying in his uh, Let's Play of Ultimate Doom with Eons of Death that Pandemonium is one of his favorite maps. One of his favorite classic Doom maps. Mainly because of the music. Yeah. Mainly because of the music and... Um, hold on, can I get a... There we go! Got the final kill with the uh, precision bolt and the mastery channel or the mastery upgrade. Demons killed by the precision bolt will explode, dealing damage to nearby demons. And let's see. There's also killing three or more demons with a single detonation 15 times for the remote detonation and get 15 headshot killed with a charged energy shot. I'm not going to focus on that at all. I am just going to play the game. But what I am going to focus on is the challenge for the map. Grab the armor for infinite ammo. And will that be enough? Not quite. Gotta get five more enemies with the BFG. And you know what? I'll save it for later. Because right now... Nice. 
stun that bastard and get some armor out of him. Up oh, the hell. There we go. Up. Oh, hi, Baron. Or not Baron. Hell Knight. Oh, you know what? I can just do this. I have infinite ammo. Ooh. Nice jump, dude. 10 out of 10. Okay, there goes my infinite ammo. God damn it. There we go. Got that challenge done, and I have 69 armor now. Uh, grenade. There we go. Oh, that's a frag grenade. I thought I had the siphon grenade. Oh, you know what? Let's go ahead and change that. Oh, there's two Cybermax up there. But one of them's dead. There we go. Yeah! Anyway, uh, let's get back to talking about uh, Sirius Sam. So yeah, with Sirius Sam uh, celebrating his birthday, the 20th birthday actually, yeah. Yeah, Crow Team celebrated the 20th anniversary of uh, Sirius Sam. They released uh, another major update for Sirius Sam 4. And also an update for Sirius Sam 2! Yeah, you heard right. They updated Sirius Sam 2. The first update in over a decade. But yeah, they've updated Sirius Sam 4. They've uh, fixed some of, some more of the uh, issues that's uh, been happening in the game. Which in turn created some more issues. Yeah, because every time they've updated Sirius Sam 4, I had to verify the game cache and localize the, uh, uh, or verify the files every single time they do that. Hi, Baron! That's a Baron right there. But there's only one Baron here. Yeah, this is not the place to, uh, to get the two Baron one-shot challenge done. Oh, okay! <laughs> oh, the weird death animation right there just flopped right over the edge. Okay, there we go. Oh, there's a Berserk right there! Ah, oh, man! I could have punched everyone around the area to get some armor out. But, oh well. Alright, let's crawl in here for the next secret, which has one of the two collectibles of this map. And it's Cosmo Guy. And now we can go ahead and destroy the second part of the well. Bingo! So that's two down, one more to go. I can actually see the, uh... UAC. Oh, that's weird. I rotate around and the uh, portal rotates with me. That's very odd. But yeah, that's supposed to be uh, Mars right there, in case, you, in case you couldn't tell. Okay. I see some more armor pieces. And also, not only did they um, update Sirius Sam 4, but they've also updated the, uh, the soundtrack, too. Yeah, they've included a couple of new uh, tracks, and um, they actually changed the music for one of the levels, which is very nice. And flipping that skull switch opens up the final secret and complete the Uncharted Territory uh, challenge. And that's it. That's all of the secrets. Now, you might be wondering, how can we have all the secrets, but only one collectible figurine when there's supposed to be two in each level? Well, that's because we don't get the second collectible uh, by physically picking it up. We get it by defeating the final boss. And for those of you who haven't played this game, 
for some reason. And don't know who the final boss is. Well, I'll keep it a surprise. Wow, you actually survived that? Yeah, the game's throwing some more, uh, hell- Oh! That was a headshot right there. Got a nice explosion out of that Hell Knight. So yeah, the game's throwing a lot of Hell Knights at me to complete the challenge with the, uh, Gav Cannon Precision Bolt. Ah, dang it. Now, one of the disadvantages for the uh, precision bolt, when you're zoomed in, you can't really turn all that well, so it makes aiming a little bit difficult. Hi, Pinky. Not going to pick up the quad damage yet. Instead, I'm going to save that for later. Do not walk right into it. Ow. Oh, what's going to spawn right there? Okay, spawn a Pinky in midair, because why the hell not? Spawn a non-flying enemy in midair. I don't get it. Anyway. But yeah, um, so like I said, Crow Team updated Serious Sam 4 and Serious Sam 2. Oh wow, I staggered both of those imps with one shot from my super shotty. I guess I must have rolled a six right there. Yeah, Eldritch Horror or er, El blah, blah. Yeah, Eldritch Horror reference. Some of you won't get that if you don't know what, what the game's about. I know Wiki would get that reference. And I know my dad would too, because we play uh, a lot of Eldritch Horror. In fact, we uh, played a game yesterday and won against Shudamel, the Cataclysm from Below. Right before we drew that final disaster. <laughs> anyway, um... So yeah, they've updated uh, Serious Sam 2 as well, Crow Team did, and um, they changed it up a lot. Um, for one thing, the game is now uh, widescreen compatible. I mean, I'm sure you could play uh, Serious Sam 2 before, but um, everything would be like all stretched out and all that, and I, I really don't like it when, uh, when that happens. That's a Revenant. Ow. And also, they changed some of the gameplay mechanics as well. Um, you can now dual wield in Serious Sam 2. Yeah, you don't have to get like uh, Sam points or anything like in 4. Uh, you're just able to dual wield right off the bat. And as a matter of fact, um, oh, thanks for staggering those in for me, Cyber. Can I get out of him, please? There we go. Oh, he's dead. Okay, there's the Baron, and there's the second Baron. Wait, is, are there three barons? Well, let's grab the quad damage. And... Fire! And that completes the hold still challenge. And the final map challenge of the game. There we go. So yeah, dual wielding, sprinting. You can also sprint in Series Sam 2 now, and um... They've also added a, an enemy multipl uh, multiplier in uh, single player. So yeah, they've really changed up Serious Sam 2. As a matter of fact, I just finished up Planet Bigbo uh, recently with a new update. And uh, it's a lot of fun. <laughs> and with that, the well has been shut down for good. Now we must head down over this way. Let's get my armor back up to full. There we go. And we got some of my fallen comrades here standing before the entrance to the final battle of the game. So, looks like this is a one way trip, guys. Here we go. You. Promised me so much. Oh, 
Well, it looks like Hell took care of Olivia for us. Or did they? No, they didn't. They turned her into... The Spider Mastermind! Alright, here we go, folks. The final battle. And this Spider Mastermind is unlike the one from the classic game. Not by a long shot. Yeah, Dev just having like a super chain gun. She can swipe at you. Fire lasers from all sides. And even drop bombs. And flip herself onto her head like that. That's actually really cool when she does that. And you do the and you do the most damage to her by shooting at her brain. Yep, and there are the bombs right there. And the game will uh, leave some icons on your HUD to let you know um, where they are. And there are also these pillars that will pop up out of the floor because sometimes she'll do an electrified attack. And there's a laser attack right there. Yeah, that's what I meant when I said uh, that she can fire lasers from all directions. And the BFG, uh does a significant amount of damage and staggered her for a bit. Oh, hold on. I think she's getting ready for a... Oh, no. I thought she was going to do a, an electric attack and electrify the floor, but nope. I guess not. Whoa. Jump. And duck. Oh, wow. I still got hit by that. Really? Oh, whatever. And the pillar dropped... <laughs> Wow, the pillars blocked my... Okay, there's the electrified attack right there. Ow, 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 ow. And the pillars are gone. Get up on the pillar, get up on the pillar. Okay. Oh, whoops. That was the wrong... Uh, okay. Wow, okay. I need some help. Let's get the BFG right here. Ow. And she's weakening. She is definitely weakening. Oh, oh, come on! That barely scratched her! Let's try it again. Wow, okay. Oh, and now she's using her telepathic or telekinetic attack on me. Because she has very low health right now. Watch out! Woo! On. She's almost dead. She, she's shielding herself. She's trying to uh, prevent me from shooting at her brain. But I got her regardless. And now, ladies and gentlemen, it is time for the ultimate climax. Open wide, bitch! Time for you to swallow my load! And that's what I call premature emasculation. and close the portal. But it's come at a price. Argent, Vega, this entire operation. You see, I've watched you work. Come to understand your motivation. You think the only way is to kill them all, leave nothing behind. And you may be right. But we can't just shut it all down. Without Argent energy, it will be worse. I don't expect you to agree. But with this, we can continue our work. I am not the villain in this story. I do what I do because there is no choice. Rerouting tether coordinates complete. 
Our time is up. I can't kill you, but I won't have you standing in our way. Until we see each other again. And that's it. That was Doom 2016. Quite the plot hit. Quite, bleh, quite the plot twist right there. Boy, I really butchered that. <laughs> Unlike Series Sam 4, where I saw the plot twist coming a mile away with General Brand and all that, this one I actually did not see coming when I first saw the ending to this game, which was through Wikidoo's Let's Play of this game. But yeah, that is that. That was uh, the main campaign right there. And um, what are my final thoughts on this game? Well, it is a hell of a lot of fun. No pun intended. Um, the graphics, top notch. I mean, I knew from the moment I saw the, uh, the little teaser from QuakeCon or whatever it was, where they first showed the, uh, the gameplay footage, I knew that they were going to really update the graphics in comparison to, like, uh, Doom 3. And, um, also, I knew for a fact that it was going to require a really, really powerful gaming PC to run a game like this, and boy, was I correct. Um, uh, let's see, the gameplay mechanics are very stellar, very simple. I mean, um, much simpler compared to, uh, Doom Eternal, I should say, because with Doom Eternal, there's a lot more going on there. But here in Doom 2016, it's not all that bad. It takes a bit of practice and a bit of getting used to to get everything all figured out. But, um, yeah, once you, uh, you get yourself accustomed to all the mechanics, like with the weapons and the, uh, uh, the glory kills and the grenades and all that, then you'll have no problem playing through this game at all. Just blaze right through it. Even on Ultra Nightmare difficulty. And yes, there is an Ultra Nightmare difficulty in this game, and you get a Steam achievement for beating the game on Ultra Nightmare. Um, let's see, uh, the music, holy shit, the music really, really defined this game. Mick Gordon, mwah, pit perfect, top notch, fantastical. You did an amazing job, my friend. Um, let's see, the story, I mean, story doesn't really have a place in a game like Doom? I mean, people love the original Doom and Doom 2 so much because uh, you're just given a simple objective. Uh, running and gunning. That's what Doom was all about. With Doom 3, um, it focused very heavily on the story, and because of that, it suffered greatly, which is why it wasn't very well received by, uh, by a lot of people, by a lot of gamers in general, even by fans of Doom. Um... And even though they did include a story here in Doom 2016, um, the game does actually flow along with the story very well and very smoothly. And, um, yeah, and the overall looks of this game is just fantastic. Um, however, my only complaint is that Hell looks rather bland. Like, <laughs> I love the shot right here, a little figurine aiming at the pinky. That's, that's so cute. But yeah, um, I really don't like the look of Hell, to be honest. It looks so bland. A lot of gray and orange and not a lot of, like, red. Like, when people think of Hell, they usually associate it with the color red because, you know, that's what Hell's supposed to be, right? There's a nod to the classic Doom cover right there. But uh, they, made for, they made up for that in uh, Doom Eternal. They made Hell much prettier there. And, um, yeah, like I said, the story, um, and the game flow together very well. And, uh, let's see, if I did have one gripe with the gameplay mechanics, I would say that the challenges can really restrict your gameplay, because with a perfectionist like me, um, you don't really have much, 
you know, wiggle movement to, or wiggle room to uh, be able to do what you can, do what you want, because you just want to focus on getting the challenges done as quickly as you can. You just basically want to plan everything out and try to be, uh, you know, precise with your gameplay. Like, I was really focusing on getting the challenges done in each of the maps that I played through and trying to get as many of the challenges with the weapons and the runes done. And also look out for the secrets. And that's another problem. Um, there are some parts of the game where if you miss out on a secret and you go past a point of no return, you can't go back for that secret. You have to restart the mission. Thankfully, they resolve that issue in Doom Eternal with the uh, fast travel mode where you reach near the end of the level you enable fast travel you could like jump to any part of the level so you can go back to wherever you missed like a secret or a challenge or whatnot I'm really really thankful they added that in Doom Eternal I just wish they included it here in Doom 2016 as well because every time I play this game I'm constantly looking at the map constantly checking you know like online guides making sure that I've found everything before I carry on forward. But, um, other than that, I really don't have much to complain about this game. It's just a wonderful, awesome game. Um, I like the looks of some of the enemies. Um, I like the looks of, uh, the Baron of Hell in particular. M looks a lot like their classic Doom counterparts. And I also like how the Hell Knights look like their Doom 3 counterparts. That's actually pretty cool. And also like some of the Easter eggs in the game, like we saw the Soul Cube and the Super Turbo uh, Turkey Punch here. Yeah, both of those were not to Doom 3. And um, and also the secrets with the classic Doom maps. That's a nice callback to the classic Doom. And um, yeah, Doom is a lot of fun. And um, just when I thought they could possibly top it with Doom, Doom 2016, then Doom Eternal came along, and they really, and I mean really, proved me wrong. Because, oh my god, Doom Eternal is just fucking spectacular. Basically, if I were to compare the Doom series to, say, the Batman series, Doom 2016 would be the 1989 Batman film, and Doom Eternal would be the Dark Knight of the Doom series. Of course, it's weird I'm saying that, seeing how I haven't seen the 1989 Batman film yet, but I've seen a good amount of it. I've seen, you know, a lot of footage from the Nostalgia Critics, old versus new, Batman versus the Dark Knight. I've seen a bit of it on TV. I've seen some clips on YouTube. But, um... Yeah. Doom 2016 is a lot of fun. I highly recommend it. Even if you prefer Doom Eternal over Doom 2016, that's fine. There's nothing wrong with that. I... I prefer Doom Eternal over Doom 2016 myself, but that's not going to stop me from coming back to this game every once in a while and playing through it again. Because, um, like I said, it's a lot of fun, it's a lot of kick-ass, badass action, and, um, yeah, it definitely makes up for the lackluster Doom 3. And, um, also, you'll notice during the, uh, the glory kill on the Spider Mastermind, um, I got a pop-up saying that I got the gold uh, figurine for killing her. Yeah, that's what I meant by uh, getting the second collectible after killing the final boss of the skin. And um, speaking of boss, let's talk about the boss fights. Um, the boss fights with the Cyber Demon, the Spider Mastermind, and the Hell Guards. Um, they're all very, very good. Um, definitely really test your skills against them, and, um, not gonna lie, I was a bit worried when I was fighting the Spider Mastermind, I thought I was gonna die, because I didn't have that, uh, save and throw rune equipped, um, but, turns out I didn't need it, I was able to, uh, recover from that and make quite a comeback, so, um, let's see, is there anything else that I could talk about at, th at this point? Not really, I pretty much covered everything, um, yeah, like I said, the gameplay is great, the music's great, the graphics great, uh, the story is great. I would also talk about characters. Um, Samuel Hayden's a, a decent side character, and um, Olivia Pierce is a pretty good villain. In fact, I would even argue she's a better villain than uh, Dr. Betruger, but only just by a little bit. 
And the fact that she got transformed into the Spider Mastermind is really cool. But then again, Dr. Petruger became the Maledict. But you don't fight him in Doom 3. You fight him in uh, Resurrection of Evil. Um, so yeah, there's not, mel- not much else I can say about this game. Except I love it. It's wonderful. It's awesome. It's fantastic. I highly recommend it. Play it if you haven't already. If you can't play it because your PC isn't good enough to run it, then you have my condolences. <laughs> I mean, I know you're paying, because I was invited to the closed alpha and the closed beta for this game back when I had my original potato computer, and I couldn't even run the goddamn thing. Like, I couldn't even run neither the alpha nor the beta, and I was so depressed. Like, ugh. It was my one chance to do something that my parents did with the original Doom from way back when, like right before I was born. Yeah, my parents played the original beta of the classic Doom uh, because they knew someone who was friends with one of the developers at id Software who was working on Doom at the time, and um, they invited my parents over to uh, play the game, to try it out. Um, So yeah, that's that. And you would think that, since I was giving my closing thoughts on this game, that this would also mean that this Let's Play is over. Actually... It's not. We are not done with this Let's Play yet. In fact, I would even say we are only halfway done. Yeah, you heard right. We're only halfway done with this Let's Play because I actually plan on playing through all the classic do maps that we have unlocked in the main campaign. Yeah, I'm going to play through all 13 of them to play alongside the uh, final episode of Quake. Because um, at the time of this recording, I've yet to tackle the final level of episode 3, and then after that I have to play through episode 4 and then go through um, uh, the final level against Jeff Nigrath. Now the question is, in what order should I play the classic Doom maps? Should I play them in the order in which I've found them in the main campaign? Like the first map I found... Uh, the entryway, and then I found the hangar, and then the nuclear plant, all the way to the last one, that being Pandemonium. Or should I play them in chronological order, like in the order they appeared in the classic Doom game? Like I would start with E1M1, then E1M2, all the way down to um, the maps that were in Doom 2. I think there's only two maps in Doom 2 that are included here. Um, That being the first two maps, the entryway and um, underhauls. So yeah, what order should I play these classic Doom maps? Leave them in the comments below. Go ahead and leave your votes. And um, I'm not sure when I'll get around to doing the classic Doom maps. I am going to take a bit of a break after this. Because um, I do have other things going on that I want to take care of. Um, however, I'm, I'm going to be streaming um, The Ancient Gods Part 2 live on Twitch sometime this weekend. And it is going to be blind, just like how I did uh, Part 1. And, um, I am definitely looking forward to that. And sometime after I stream Ancient God Part 2, um, I do intend on playing through all three levels. I know there are three levels, because, um, I think, uh, the serious Cacodemon told me that. Because he played through the levels, and, uh, he said that the combat in that DLC is, uh, much more manageable than the combat in the Ancient God Part 1. But anyway, yeah... Um, I'm not sure when I'll stream Angel God Part 2. Um, I'm going to be out of town Saturday morning, and I'm not sure when I'll get back. Um, Sunday, I'm actually going to get my COVID vaccine. Yeah, I'm actually going to get my first COVID vaccine on Sunday. Um, as a matter of fact, um, earlier today, I didn't bring this up while I was playing through the final level, I actually got, my, uh, actually got uh, tested for COVID. Not sure when I'll get the results back, but um, hopefully the result will be negative, and I'll be fine. And um, Sunday, I'll be getting my first COVID shot. And um, Monday is when I'll record the second, or nah, the third um, episode, final level, in Quake. And... Um, also, I do plan on uploading the two uh, live streams 
uh, when I was playing through Bendy and the Ink Machine on Twitch. Yeah, I, I actually uh, saved those streams, and I actually plan on uploading them here on YouTube, because why the heck not? Anyway, God, how long are the credits here? I, I, I want to get to the end of the credits, because um, I want to show off, uh, you know, what I've unlocked from playing through the main campaign. But, um, I'm pretty sure we're getting near the end of the credits. Anyway, so yeah, like I said, um, leave a comment down below and let me know which order you'd like to see me play through the classic Doom maps. Should I play them in chronological order like they appeared in the classic games, or should I play them in the order in which I find them in this game? It's up to you. And I'm not sure when I will play through them, because like I said, I'm going to be a bit busy with other things. So um, we'll just have to wait and see. So yeah, like I said, this is not the end of the Let's Play yet, but um, I got nothing much else to say. So other than that, hope you guys enjoyed my uh, playthrough of the main campaign, and yeah, stay tuned for when I go through the classic Doom maps.